delicious dream, a tribute to nature, an embodiment of what a great city deserves. Welcome to Mumbai's finest and first true urban oasis. Welcome to the park, a seven acre park, nearly 1.5 times the size of the world's largest cricket field, the MCG, is envisioned on the scale of a city park and inspired by the great urban parks of the world. Central Park, New York, Hyde Park, London, and Ueno Park, Tokyo. Set in South Mumbai's prime locale, Welly, at the very start of the Golden Mile, Mumbai's lifestyle hub. The park is a rich landscape designed to provide a multitude of experiences and a diverse range of delightful environments, pulsating with vibrant life and activity, and so rich in experiences that it would take a lifetime to enjoy them all. Whatever a city takes away, the park gives back. But of course, a great vision needs great execution to turn into a grand reality. And for this purpose, the Lodha Group has put together a potent mix of world-class material, equipments and cutting-edge technology at the disposal of a thoroughbred team to attain what no project in the island city has ever achieved. The dream of South Mumbai's largest integrated development. We at the park have gone through an extensive planning phase, which has taken almost about eight months. The project management team we put together for this particular project um, of 200 odd professionals um, have worked all over the world and the total experience encumbered there is 250 years. The project consists of six towers. Uh, the towers consist of roughly 6 million square feet with a podium of 4.7 million square feet which basically equates a total development of 1 million square meters. With a construction site area of 7 acres Equivalent to three times the Colosseum in Rome, the team's hard work begins at the planning stage itself. The project had to be deconstructed into manageable components and reviewed in micro detail with 2D and 3D project planning, a cutting edge technology put to use for the first time in India. Each of the six iconic towers with an individual height of 256 meters, is three times as tall as the Statue of Liberty in New York. Six 80-story towers being constructed concurrently at one grand site is probably a first in the world, even when compared to the Middle East, which boasts of some of the world's largest integrated projects. The monumental effort at the park surpasses the world-famous Jumeirah Beach residences in Dubai, including the Dubai Marina mega high-rise premium developments and even the iconic World Towers next door. The park's six 80-storey buildings constructed at one particular site is a world first. Nowhere in the world has anybody constructed 80-storey towers on one development simultaneously. Loda has done that and that's a great achievement. To achieve this mammoth task, the project team had to excavate 3.2 million cubic meters of earth over a period of two years, a task that was achieved by moving 271,000 trucks in and out of Mumbai at an average of over 50 trucks every day. Post an excavation of this scale, the next challenge was that of raft pouring and piling. The team had to better all previous raft pour records in the country and they didn't disappoint. India's single largest raft pool was accomplished in 100 continuous hours, also making it the largest raft pool for any residential building in the world, and that too, under extremely challenging conditions. The piling at the park comprises of 1,500 piles, with a combined length of 30 kilometers. The result is one of the world's largest foundation footprints with a combined raft slab of 35,000 cubic meters. 
The Podium Car Park will be one of the largest car parks in India, second only to the one at the Mumbai International Airport, with a total area of almost 500,000 square meters. The park will ultimately be the largest elevated landscape development in the residential category and join other prestigious developments such as Singapore's Marina Bay Sands and other Middle East projects. To construct the six iconic towers and the podium, a total of 1.38 million metric tons of concrete, equivalent to 2,100 A380 Airbuses and 85,000 metric tons of structural steel, equivalent to two Sydney Harbour bridges would be consumed. Not to mention the glass used for the glazing of the towers that would be equivalent to 41 international football playing fields. Considering magnitude of the work and complexity of the work, it was very much necessary for the project team to make sure that right technique and right construction management has been done on this particular project. This is what we have done while selection of the formwork system for the project. This has given us the biggest advantage of reducing our project cycle to seven days and reducing the project time considerably. At the same time, we are also consuming lot of structural steel, lot of concrete every day. To maintain the logistic was a bigger challenge considering our project is middle of the town and this is what is our logistic team is doing day and night. Designed by the world-renowned architects, WOHA, the construction of the towers engages the jump form technology that enables the team to realize a floor-to-floor -floor cycle of five to seven days. The formwork used in the self-climbing system at the park was designed overseas by Doka from Austria and Perry from Germany. The towers utilized M70 concrete and 550D grade steel that imparts the desired structural strength. Coordinating the supplies of concrete and steel on a daily basis involves at least 30 people actively working 24-7 and is the driving force of the project. Considering the volume of the project, the challenges is for the vertical and horizontal development. We plan 19 tower cranes at the peak to service the each and every area of the project. The project uses two self-climbing cranes per tower to fast track the construction and a total of 19 cranes are in operation during peak time to enable us to crunch the timelines for completion. All projects under construction in the vicinity together. Do not use those many numbers. The park has adopted a fast track planning strategy by deploying multiple contractors of repute for different parts of the project concurrently. This allows for the maximum workforce to be focused on specific containable zones ensuring construction sustainability to bring up the entire project simultaneously. The towers shall exhibit four distinctive stages while in construction with major trades overlapping, unseen before in India on such a scale. What this will mean to a resident is enhanced livability, which is a rarity in large-scale projects, especially in Mumbai, where construction continues even as the first set of residents have moved in. The first phase of construction will be the superstructure of the tower. The second will be an early erection of the external facade, which will also act as a physical weatherproofing, as an envelope. The third will cover the internal activities, like internal partition walls and services. And lastly, the finishes of the common areas, including the apartments. Even at an early stage, such as now, we have started incorporating elements of the facade on the outside and partition walls on the inside, while the tower structure itself is yet to soar to its full height. Yes, the task is in front of us, but we're up to the challenge and we'll construct the building on time. 